name is Dr. Steve Robleski. I have the privilege of serving as the superintendent of LaSalle Pro Township High School. I want to welcome everyone to the Renaissance Student of the Month virtual celebration. I also want to thank Peru Federal Savings Bank, led by Mr. Eric Heggie, who is serving as this month's sponsor for the celebration. Renaissance is all about celebrating and recognizing the good work of our students as well as our staff. And one of the reasons Renaissance is so successful is because of the amazing support that we have from individuals and organizations like Proof Federal Savings. This month, we're going to be recognizing a number of students in each of our departments. I want to thank the work that our teachers and all of our staff members are doing to serve as role models and difference makers in the lives of our students. Lastly, I wanna thank our parents and guardians for the amazing job that all of you are doing to nurture and support your kids, especially as we make our way through, through the pandemic. So enjoy the program and thank you very much. I'm Troy Woods. I teach AP US History here at LP High School. Um, I nominated Peyton Hagee for uh, my student of the month. Um, Peyton is an excellent student, hard worker, um, always does great work, um, always works to make her work better. She's always looking to improve. Um, she's not happy with just an A. How can I make that better? How can I get 100% on it? Uh, she goes above and beyond. She does extra credit all the time. Um, she comes in for all my review sessions. Um, she asks great questions. The questions that she asks just don't help her. They help the rest of the class. Um, and so because I have Peyton Hagee in my class, my class is better because um, of the work she does and the, the questions that she asks. Um, and so that's why I nominated her for my uh, Renaissance Student of the Month. My class is better because Peyton Hagee's in it, and I would love to have a classroom full of Peytons. It is with great pleasure that I'm nominating Rebecca Bridgewater for the Student of the Month for the LP High School English Division. She has a bright, positive attitude. She completes all her assignments on time. She contributes to class discussion and activities. So congratulations, Rebecca. Very well deserved. Congratulations, Emmy, on being awarded the Student of the Month for February 2021. Um, you're doing real well in class. I appreciate knowing that you are paying attention at home. Uh, you're always prepared here. You ask good questions. You can respond appropriately when called upon. Not sure what your plans are for the future, but continue studying Spanish. It can open up a world of possibilities down the road. Once again, congratulations and enjoy. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Butler and I am the Director of Choral Activities at LPHS. And I have the pleasure of nominating Anthony Hewitt for Student of the Month for Choir. Uh, I've watched Anthony improve and continue to improve, not just as a musician, but as a person over the following year. No matter how tough the task might be, Anthony does his very best and always gets it done. He is a leader by example, he turns in his work on time, and he communicates very well. Anthony is sensitive to the way that others feel, and he works hard to make sure that everybody else sees the brighter side every day. I'm quite proud of Anthony, and I am so grateful to have him as a student. Keep up the great work. Hi, I'm Kevin Keating. Um, I'm the APT instructor here at LaSalle Peru High School. Uh, I'm nominating Maverick Andrews for Student of the Month for the month of February. Mav is a very hardworking kid. Um, I've had the pleasure of knowing Mav and working with Mav since he was a freshman. Uh, he, he's just an all around great kid. Uh, he helps the younger kids because he knows what he's doing. He's been around for a while and I just know there's great things in his future. So Mav, congratulations. Remember, the Mav, the myth, the legend.
Hello, I am choosing to nominate Johnny Gallardo from my English 3 class for Student of the Month. Johnny has made great improvements from the beginning of the school year through attendance and participation. Keep up the great work, Johnny. It's my pleasure to nominate Austin Grieve as the Math Department Student of the Month for February. Austin was a student in my Intro to Programming class and just did a great job. He's one of the hardest workers I've ever had in the class. He would pay attention during the instruction. He would get to work immediately. Uh, and as he was one of the first students done most of the time, he would immediately get to work on another class. He didn't have to be prompted to do any of this. He uh, also, on the rare occasions that he would have questions on something, he would be sure to ask and persevere through some more of the difficult challenges. Um, Mrs. Gaworski, his algebra one teacher, also agrees, says he's a hard worker, pays attention, does his assignments. So in short, he's one of those students that uh, every teacher would love to have in class. I know he also does a lot of work outside of class, um, working long hours on the weekends. So I think that work ethic has translated into what he does here at school. He's a real friendly student, gets, a well, uh, gets along well with other students and teachers. So it's a, a pleasure to have him in class. And uh, congratulations, Austin, you deserve this. On behalf of the ACC and the Educators of Beauty, we'd like to congratulate you for your February award as Student of the Month. Your teacher has recognized your hard work and your abilities. We are wishing you well in all that you choose to do in the future. And again, thank you very much for being an ACC student and an exceptional one at that. Hi, I'm Mrs. Deppenbrock from LP Science Division, and I get to select the Student of the Month for February. And the person I selected was Brianna Pijanowski. Uh, she's an excellent student, one of the first to turn in her work each time, and it's always completed and well done. And she volunteers for vocabulary when I can't get anybody else to volunteer. Um, and she'll try things if I need help. Also, she's one of the first to come into the classroom and she will also pass out the paper towels so that we can prepare for the next group of kids. So. Thank you, Brianna, for being my volunteer, for being an asset, and for uh, allowing me to be uh, a better teacher, especially getting ready for the next group. All right, so congratulations and thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jean Gans. I'm one of the coordinators for LP Renaissance. And I'm Andrea Eichelkraut, another coordinator for LP Renaissance. And we are proudly to acknowledge our student of the month is Nora Meyer. Nora is a freshman this year and has volunteered for multiple events for Renaissance, even when we are fully remote. She's handed stress balls out to our faculty. She has made cars and sent them to our veterans. And anything else that we ask of Nora or she thinks of, she's always in 110%. Nora always has a smile on her face and is very kind and inviting to everyone. We are so lucky to have Nora as part of our Renaissance team for the next four years. Hi, this is Linda Hessenberger from Central Bank, Illinois, where our central focus is you. We appreciate LP High School and think the Renaissance program is awesome and we would like to congratulate all of this month's recipients. Um, so in honor of that, we like to award a random $50 Visa gift card to one of the lucky um, nominees. So I'm going to draw the name right now. And the lucky winner is Amelia Hackenberger. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, but Amelia, you get $50 to treat yourself. Have a great day. Congratulations to this month's honorees. I feel privileged to be able to have the opportunity to honor so many excellent students. I am sure that parents, guardians, teachers, and the students themselves feel immense pride as they listen to their teachers share their qualities. I know I felt great pride as the principal. I would like to thank our sponsors. Your contributions are appreciated and valuable to making our program viable. I would also like to acknowledge our parents and guardians. Not only have you given us students who are prepared academically, you've also shared with us students who have qualities such as integrity, kindness, and strong work ethic. Thank you. 
I would also like to, like to publicly thank our teachers for their devotion to our students and their work to help make them successful. And lastly, thank you to our students for your devotion. We appreciate all that you do to make LP a great school. Congratulations again on your well-deserved award. Thank you.